que cette année, pour la première fois à Vienne, un grand festival rassemblera pendant cinq jours continus, du 6 au 10 juillet, un très grand plateau. C'est aussi un futur festival de jazz, un grand festival C'est certainement la naissance d'un très grand festival, puisque dès à présent il s'inscrit comme euh, peut-être le troisième festival en France, tout, tout de suite derrière Nice et Antibes. Et nous espérons euh, que par le succès que nous remporterons cette année, on pourra poursuivre cette euh, manifestation. There's no doubt in my mind that the impact on any artist performing in Vienne in the Roman Amphitheater is going to do a different kind of show. Because it's not just that you have 5,000 people in front of you, but literally they are like right in front of you. It's like a wall of humanity and you are looking right into their faces. And that was the idea from the very start when they created it. I keep trying to think in my mind of the original Roman architect who must have been brought in from Rome. And he saw this beautiful hillside and he said, I know what I can create here. And what he created was this special bubble of feedback where the performer and the audience can see each other with such proximity that the performers really push up to the top of what they can do on that stage. And I've seen it happen again and again and again, whether it's a jazz performance or a rock performance, Carlos Santana wanting not to come off of the stage after a three hour show because he is feeling the immediate feedback from the audience. I've seen it all there in Vienna and it's really, really special. Jazz festival success has a lot to do with the respect of the music, plus an open eye of what is coming in the future. The other idea is that when you look at a festival that is successful, you never feel like you can feel the security and the production and all the effort that goes into creating a festival is not all around like it is in a rock concert or a hip hop concert. You go to a rock concert, a hip hop concert, you see all the staff there. You see security there. You see the separation between artists and audience. At Jazz of Vienne, you don't even see any staff because they're all just there helping the musicians. So that idea that you don't see the strings that hold together the festival, that it just seems to be so natural and authentic, that for me is a successful festival that it doesn't feel like it's being produced, but that it's just happening. Mm -hmm. 